Pastor Tom, welcome to yet another exciting moment with us on this program, Future Ambassadors. I'm Motala Adokai Ogundele. And today with me in the program, um, it, there are two lovely ladies who want to look at um, 2021. We're about wrapping up this year. So we want to see uh, what are those things that we're able to achieve, those things that we're not able to achieve. How do we enter into the new year and how do we achieve those things that we're not able to achieve this year and the forthcoming year these are much more we'll be looking at on this program and so with me in the studio once again at two lovely ladies i have demi lade at dick best you welcome to this program thank you and i also have elizabeth ogunde you're welcome to this program thank you Okay, now we are looking at um, a reflection of the year 2021 that we are about wrapping up the year. We still have some few days to go from this year. So now, Demi Lade, what have you achieved so far? What's your biggest achievement for this year? 2021 has been stressful, challenging, educationally, always has been very stressful. But we thank God that we've got into this um, stage. I... I battled with two sessions in my university, reading, taking bus to school, everything has just been very stressful, but we thank God that we've gotten here today. Okay. And now I'm at 400 level. Wow, that's great. 400 level uh, under two years, uh, under a year. Yeah. Wow, that's, that's, that's good, that's good. Let's hear from Elizabeth. What, uh, how can you describe 2021? 2021 has been a year indeed, honestly, mm. at least true, like, We've gone through tough times, you know, getting food to eat, getting this one to do, the other one then. Like, tough, up there's with, a saying that says, uh, tough time never lasts, but tough people do. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I know, right? So, there at least people trying to get what to eat, then, the, like, you know, when it has to do with education, financially, everything. It's not like everything is just, it's, I don't know how to put it, but... Like, it has been so difficult for almost everyone. Let me say everyone, because even the rich people... Also are cry. feeling it okay they are, are feeling rich it. Also just imagine how it's going to be for the masses it has been so tough but then we thank god okay everything. so now what is uh, your triumph what are your triumph for this year yeah this year i was able to start up my brand i own a fashion brand okay a tailor, like a fashion designer precisely mm -hmm. so if you call it tailor to... if you call it fashion designer <laughs> mm. <laughs> i was able to at least start up my brand and then with God's help, I know I'm getting somewhere. Okay. Then, lady, what was your great, your charm for this year? <laughs> for this year, that would be getting to 400 level. Because mm. it has been very tough dealing with two years, two sessions in just one year. Mm. Very tough. Reading for exams, having texts every time consistently. That has been very difficult. But that would be my biggest charm for the year 2021. Mm. Did, did you break down along the way? Do, do you yes. see people uh, Sometimes quitting? I was, I was people that quitted in the process. Sick. A lot yes. of people quitted in the process. Yes. Okay. But at least we thank God for how far he has taken us. Okay. I was even sick during my last exam that I did. But we thank God. We thank God. Okay. So now, um, what is that smallest decision that you made in 2021 that forever you forever be grateful? Okay. So when I started my business last year, okay, you own a business too. Yes, I own a business too. Yes, I said okay. When I started my business last year, um, I allow people. Okay, fine. We're allowed to. We go to the markets. We hold price if we want to buy something. But I allowed people to price way too low for me, and I just allow it. I feel like okay, let me just sell these perfumes out so that I can get new ones or. Probably I feel like customers will not come as soon as possible. So I just sell them out. And I get just little profit. But now I feel like you're, you're, you're meant to put as an entrepreneur. You're supposed to put this standard on your business. So now this year, this 2021, if people come to me that, okay, well, I want to get perfumes, I want to get something. If your price is way too low for me, I just say, okay, uh, I'm sorry, ma, I'm sorry, sir, I can't sell it for this price. This is how I can sell it. This is how I can sell it. If if they will not buy, I allow them go. And if they will buy, if they can afford it, fine, no problem. I feel like that has been a very good decision I made this twenty twenty one. So that that's it. Okay, yes, from Elizabeth. Okay, my smallest decision that I yeah, so far is starting of my brand actually, because before I even took it up, I never knew I would use it as a means to earn a living. I was depending solely on home, like man, our allowance or this thing. But the more we grow and the higher we go in schools, too, the more 
cost like the more we we the spend so i decided that this yeah, relying on allowance from home cannot do this thing alone so i decided to just start up my brand and thanks to a friend Tony bro that so advised me so i took up the business and thank god i'm doing fine then as for her where she said um people and um, pricing down there are people like that the moment you don't put a standard on your your brand people price too, way too low and it affects there is something about business the moment you just allow them you allow them because you want to sell out or because you're just starting a brand then you allow them to price anyhow the moment uh, you now want to add more price then then like you make the price balance for it to suit you people will start running away they won't buy from you that's the reason from the onset you have to put down your price and stand under your standard Okay, Stand so now both of you are talking about business, business, business. Do you think it's really now an idea thing or something that um, you really need to look into? Mm-hmm. It's not all the time that you depend on your parents, that you need to like try and be creative. It's not just school, 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 getting a white collar job. Do you think um, people should look inward and see what they can do? Yes, I because sometimes you want to buy a wig, you want to buy this trust, you want to buy this gown, you can't say, ah. You can't mommy. tell daddy you I want, want to, to buy this. this. Hello, daddy. I want to buy this. It's not possible. So if even now, every every student now has something they are doing. If it's not are you sure? Student, yes, yes, most students. Most have okay. only few don't doing. have what they are doing. Most of them have what they are doing. So you you, you have to do something because you can't depend on the allowance alone. You know? Yeah, you have to do something. And even people that have white collar jobs, some of them even have all these um small small Side jobs. Also. Just put people yes. there. So probably when they are done at their work, probably in the evening, they'll just go there to just check how things are going, what's going on in their small mm. shop that they have. So even people that have white collar jobs don't depend on only that. Okay. Yeah. So even even students, those that are not having business, you know this makeup and whatever, those that are not having their own business, they are working on that song, maybe a sales girl, you know, just managing someone's business for him or her, at least to earn a living cost. Okay. As things are, you can't depend solely on your allowance from home. Okay, now, since you are talking about business, what are the challenges of setting up a small-scale business? First of all, capital. Capital is... Uh, if you don't have the capital, my dear, I don't, I don't know. You won't have the urge to move forward. And then, the kind of people that buy from you, there's something about business. Before you start up a business, after you get your capital, another thing is defining your customer, those you really want to buy from you. So when you define your customer, you know these are these are my real these are my genuine customers. So no no someone can just come like imagine those that are selling Boone Street. Now someone that has not even afforded a hair of fifteen k going to price Boone Street, you know we won't pass our boundary. So when you define your customers, this kind of people I want to buy from me, I think at least you will go somewhere from there. Okay, so let me let the challenge is um, for for capital. Okay, it's it, it's a challenge. Yes, but. Um, that's for big big business. For example, now as she said, Boone Street about hundred and something, two hundred and something. Fine. If you want that kind of business, you have to have a very Which big counter. amount of money. But for some people, it's not a problem. Like for me, it was not a problem. I said we just five thousand naira. So from there, I just started getting more and more. So for some people, it's not a problem. And for another problem is getting customers. Because some now, mm. if you go to this place, place they sell perfume. This place they sell perfumes. Mm-hmm. This place they sell perfume. So the fact that people are even buying from you, probably because they love you or something. That's so. That's even another major challenge in business. Mm. I mean, business as a student because everybody now does something. If you look at your left, they're selling what you're selling. Mm. Right, selling what they're selling. Uh, but so. you just made a point. Now you said because people are buying from you, maybe because they love you. Love you. you yes. Don't you think that's a um a, just a a way, or um. That is a pay, is a way to sell your business. Yes. Maybe that's uh, now. I'm going to ask you what are those uh, your strength? Let's look at your strength. You, um, uh, me, I know how to persuade people. That's, okay. that's very important. If if you say okay, well, your budget is like last week or so, someone messaged me that how much is this perfume? I was like ten thousand. I was like ah, she didn't know it's, it's it's that expensive. I was like okay, what is your budget? Talk to me. Now, if you find what you want, she was like, I think she said 3k or so. So, I gave her another thing that, that, that is very good, another perfume that, that smells very nice for just 3,000 naira. So, you, I, I can persuade people very well. Mm-hmm. If you say, okay, well, this is not what I want, I'll give you something else that is very nice that you actually like. 
for whatever price you want. You you can afford. Okay. So that's that's a very so good let's trend. look at other strengths that you have that has been helping you in twenty twenty one. Okay. Because so, some people are just there, they don't really know what their strengths are. Yeah. And they really need to dive to do things in life to move them forward. Uh, okay. If you are able to accommodate people like if if people move close to you, you are very friendly and friendly with people. At least that is it's a very huge should I say credit for you okay because a lot of people don't know how to accommodate people and it is really affecting them if on, they don't just want to say it is affecting them you know when maybe someone wants to get close to you and then someone that has had an encounter with you will be like ah, don't go close to her she's not accommodating you understand that kind of thing but if you welcome people to yourself like you you embrace people no matter what their attitude is at least no we don't it's not like we love everybody but at least for the sake of something we have to accommodate people mm-hmm. at least if you're able to accommodate them you'll be able to speak to them you'll be able to you, you should understand what i'm trying to like you'll be able to speak to them is that your strength yeah okay. I, I accommodate people a lot then that act of persuasion to i persuade people i know how to persuade people imagine someone who sees a style maybe a style they seal with cord you know and cord now you have about 15k about 20k and you don't have up to that there are laces that are like cord in the market what's two thousand you see the one of three thousand it depends on your pocket so whichever way you want it we are ready to serve you okay so now what are those lessons that you've learned so far in this year 2021 uh, the first thing i've learned is this, in this 2021 is that don't don't let people that have shallow mind or people who don't think far don't let them like disrupt your goal or, or what you've planned for yourself because some sometimes I get people saying ah they like they why are you selling this thing too so many people are selling it already so just take another business not another business but if you like if if you know what you want because okay my my main um thing that made me do this business was like I, I like smelling nice I love smelling nice mm-hmm. that's why smelling nice is a good business yes, <laughs> it is, it is. that's why I like business so but if people come to me and they're like they know why you selling this. I feel like no, this is what I want, and I'll put my hundred percent into it. I'll put my all into mm-hmm. what I'm doing. So don't worry. So that is the first thing I've learned. That always look forward to your goal. Always don't let people side comment. Don't let them distract you. If this is what you want, please learn to go for it. That's the first yeah. thing I've learned this year. And second thing is that always keep your family close because your friends will come, your boyfriend or your girlfriend they will come, they will go. Just make sure that your family. Are always with you because they will never leave you alone. Mm. So that those are two things. That okay, let's hear from Elizabeth. What okay. are those things that you've learned about it, uh, during the, the course of this year? The number one thing is putting God first in everything. As I am now, I'm not. I'm not really a, a church goer. Mm. I don't really go to church, but at least with things I've learned, God really came true for me. Honestly, it's not like I pray a lot. It's not like I go to church, but at least I don't have something else I believe in. It's just Him. So God first. Once you put God first in everything you do, then you have it all. The other thing is be careful of the kind of friends you keep. Mm. There is something about friendship. The more friends you keep, the more problem you create for yourself. Because if there are a lot of friends amongst hundred percent of them there will be about 70 who are bad energies there will be about 70 who would it's not like they won't say it to you like they don't want you to do it but they will advise you against doing what is good for you while the other 30 you know once 70 has said what is not like what is bad mm-hmm. now the remaining 30 will be like they'll just follow so if it's just two friends you have that knows what they are doing then it's fine okay so now, um, what are those things that you like to drop this year? As we're moving into the new year, what are those things that you want to drop? That next year you'll have a better year. Okay. Mm. The things I want to drop for the year 2021. Ah, yeah. A lot. Like she said, <laughs> learn to keep, don't, don't keep too many friends. Don't keep too many friends. Because some people come and they're, and they're like, ah, what's wrong with her? Is she being proud? Why is she saying she will drop some people, cut some people off? Yeah, that's no. some people don't. Don't. don't like I said, don't listen to side comments. Just do what you want. Just, just do you. So I feel like this year I want to just drop some people. Okay, fine. Sometimes you might need some people's help in the mm-hmm. future because you don't know. You don't know people are like water. Mm-hmm. You don't know where you meet them in the future. But even if there are some out of hundred, you may have forty percent that are bad. So you have to learn. If this is what you want, okay. Like now, if if you want to do um um a food business or something. You can't be 
How should I explain it? You, you can't you can um be very you can't just pack friends that don't like have something to do like now my business i had like two friends that they were, doing, they were not that very close but at least i i got to ask them that okay how do you do this how do you buy food? so you have to like have people that will go with what you want if you, if you want to do something good and you have friends that are telling you that don't do it do this I think that I should do the other way that is bad. You have to drop some of them. Yeah. That's what I want to do. You see, and the second thing that I want to drop this year is my habit of reading just a week to exam. Mm. Uh, and it's very bad. I don't That's why I, I have to read overnight just for like five, six days straight. And it's very bad. So I have to drop that habit. This I want to drop that habit in the year. I mean, I'm going to the year 2020. Okay. Let's let like, yes hear from a little bit. What are those that you want to drop? Okay, this habits year? that I want to drop this year. Let's see. At least, yeah, like you said, friends, a lot of friends. You no, know, it's not like cutting them off, like cutting them off totally. But at least you know people that are for you, and you know people that are against you. So maybe just giving, creating space between people you know, they are not for you, and keeping your family close to you. What are your challenges for the year? My challenges for the year, first of all, finance. Okay, you've talked about finance before. Then academics. Okay. You know, waking up very early. Sometimes we have 7 o'clock class. We wake up very early, we go to class. That 7 o'clock we are going to school. It might be 6 o'clock we'll come back home. So if I don't even go to school, if I don't go to school with money, I might go hungry till that 6 o'clock then you know rushing hustling for buses you know and campus shots so it's you think education it. is worth it because you've been talking about education education because i believe most of you these days you don't they don't feel education the does education, not work no, the education is left to me it is worth it even if when you graduate you're not going to be working in like as a civil servant you know you won't be having a white or, collar white job. collar job okay but one thing about education is education like it it reflects in someone it's it surely shows difference between an educated person and a non a non literate okay for example the way you 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 put down your business the way you bring it down the way you set it up then your experience your exposure you know the way you you brand your stuff it's really there is really clear difference the way an illiterate would do or a non literate rather would do their things will be much different from how an, an educated person would do it. Okay, then Milady, do you think education is worth it? Do you think just having a certificate is um something that people should just clamor for or having the best, even if the economy these days is not favorably or people are not working mm-hmm. with the certificate again? Um, we all know that in this Nigeria, even if you have 5.00 or you have first class, you, there's no way, except you have connection, your father owns a, a company, you will still look for a job. Only few occasions do you have people that they will list school and immediately they already have a job waiting for them. Only few occasions. So I feel like, so you can't say, okay, let me just settle down for just two, two or something. Mm -hmm. After they will not use the certificate. They will not use the certificate there. Mm -hmm. You you can't do that. And the problem lies with um, all these people that are doing all this yahoo and stuff. They feel like, okay, so they already have the money. Then why why should I come to school? They they all go to school to just satisfy their parents. Their parents. Some yes. some of them. Most say that of them will even say the certificate belongs to my father. Yes. Okay. So they, they mm-hmm. feel like there's no need because the money will keep on coming, even now in school or when they leave school. So they feel like let me just have it and just drop it somewhere. But mm-hmm. but it's not meant to be like that. Okay. Even if even if you know use it, use it to get a white collar job or something. It's, it's, it's very like I said, it's very important because you you will see the difference between an educated person and a non literate. You see the okay. way they will do things that the one that they get will be very much better than the non literate. So it's very important to so always aim high, education wise. To so always aim high. Yes. Okay, now so now um one thing that it's, what is that one thing that you have learned about yourself this year that you never knew that oh Elizabeth who can do this before but now okay. you know hey <laughs> back then I was used to you know. I said keeping a lot of friends sometimes it, uh, it goes a long way. So before before I do something, I consult friends. You know, we call ourselves friends. We should talk about stuff. I talk about my personal stuff with them. Like I cannot like I can't take a step without telling friends. You know, mm-hmm. because we're always together. The inferiority the complex. The inferiority or complex. You get it. But now that I've separated my myself from a lot of people, I've gotten to understand to know that I can do a lot of things all by myself. At least when I 
started my my business no one started it upon me i just decided okay I decided to start it up and then i think god is going okay to let's it. hear from um um Dimlade. what is that one thing that you have just discovered about yourself okay so that that would be um get to know that me being blunt is not me being blunt but it is me being rude Mm-mm. because if I, if I when i talk to people I go straight to the point. I just hit the nail on the head without considering their feelings or the mm. way they will feel. But I think about a few months back, my cousin sat me down and told me that the like, this thing you are always doing, always talking about people anyhow. It's not you've been blunt. You're being rude. You don't care about how they are, you don't care about their emotions or their feelings. So I have stopped that actually. So mm, that's a good one. That's a very yeah. So I feel like changing that about myself is I, I never knew I could change your I, I never knew it was actually been a rude. problem yeah. okay i thought it was just me being okay let me just tell you what it is let me just it say like that without a uh, feeling about what people feel or anything so that's that but, but do you think in a way again it's good to hide um your feelings about people maybe mm, do you it's think it's good to cover feeling. um maybe it's somebody you know somebody feeling, is not doing what is right there's and something to say about manner of presentation okay. manner of approach so it's not like you won't tell them how you feel but the way you present it to them matters a lot you can't present something to me you are expecting someone to change and then just say it you know that could cause a fight between you it could cause and it may it might lead to fist throwing if you're not careful so at least trying to you know gather yourself together tell people things although what maybe what they did hurts you you are trying to tell them how it is or at least try and just make it presentable make it okay okay um, for, for example there's this friend of mine she's into a business fashion designer like you but how should I explain it? I, I don't see the impact in our account balance. Okay. If if she if she gets a work a job of nine k fifteen k, she spends the money immediately, just like that. She she sees ten k, she buys jeans. She sees fifteen k, she buys wig. So one day I sat at Sometimes you cannot be like, ah, what's wrong with you? Just spend money anyhow. That is being rude. But I learned that I I sat. Are you sure it's really being rude? He, okay. It's. Because the way the way she would take it, you don't know. Okay, People have okay. different ways to do it. Be it, be it to okay. So you just need to have, package. Yeah, way you have to someone. package it. Then you, how should I explain it? You say it in a normal way, but she, if she has sense, <laughs> she <laughs> said, "What do you know for the wise?" Okay. If she has sense, she will understand that. Ah, what is guy saying? There is one truth that is there deep, deep down. So you just have to like say you have to present it. Yeah, you have to your manner of approval has to be very, 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 very nice. Okay. So it seems we are running out of time. So but um what do you look forward to see in the coming year? Let's hear from Elizabeth before we go to what I look forward to see in the coming year is my business, you know, enlarging then I'll be graduating this coming year. Mm. And I'm looking forward to that too. And I hope because with the way things are going, her job is not really this thing but I just I just hope and I believe in God that I'm going to get a job and I'll own my own brand, my fashion brand, and things will get better. Okay, let's hear from you. Um, the first thing, generally, I hope Nigeria gets better because in every way, things things are just, I don't know, I don't want to say bad, but things are just getting, I don't know. Then, um, educationally too, right now, Students are just, I don't know, lamenting, complaining that this one, bus shuttle, they are rushing us so much. You have lectures for just six weeks, seven weeks, exam, yeah, just like that. Yeah. That has to get better in 2022. The another thing is my brand. I, I plan on um, probably renting a shop or getting a shop next year so that I won't just be dealing with online, online, online. And um, my family... I just hope everything gets better for all of us, get better and better mm-hmm. next year. Okay, so now your advice for people at home that just feel, oh, this 2021 is totally a waste. Um, okay. No hope at all for the coming There year. is hope for everybody. There is hope for everybody. Even a blind man has hope. So my advice to everyone, our viewers, is put God first. And whatever you do, consult God. And then another thing is take a step. Mm, if you don't step. take a step, you won't achieve what you really want. You can't keep dreaming and then not wake up and, and do okay. and do what take a step on what you are dreaming about and you expect it to happen. No. You have to take a step, one step at a time. Even if you fail, you should retake the step and believe in God that someday you'll get to where you really want Thank to. Thank you very much. That is a good one. Let's say from the middle. Um, like they say, in every failure there's a lesson. If if you take a step like she said and you fail, 
at least you know in the next step you'll take you won't do this mm. this is what you will do okay so don't just feel like this year was a waste the things you've done that didn't work for you or that that you failed next year 2022 you won't you you won't take another step you won't do the things you did in 2021 again so that's that's what i have for. thank you very much thank you for coming and thank you yeah. Satoon, for being there you've heard it all you've heard it from the youth in the house they said take a step until come away again on the same program next week bye bye happy new year in advance <laughs>